Good morning from me and Vladimir. He is currently eating some peanut butter panda puffs, and I am going to make a smoothie. Had some uh, vanilla protein powder in there, strawberries, mangoes, and orange juice. I just gotta blend this bad boy up together. This should be good. Just fed the dogs. I guess Raymond must have been running late because the girls were acting a fool, and it's because they were hungry. So just fed them. It's quite cold today. I mean, it's been quite cold every day for a while now, but today especially, it's all gray and gloomy. I went outside to give the girls some scratch. Chibi and Prissy followed me out there. I'm like, okay, you guys can freeze. Chibi came running in through the door, and I think I actually hear Prissy meowing at the door right now. Chibi came through the dog door is what I meant to say. Hold on, Prissy. Is she freezing out there? I told you it's cold. I told you it was cold. Hello once again, um, Aiden is downstairs with us and we got some cool kitchen utensils to play with today. We got a pot, ooh, your turn cousin. Ooh, can you, what are you making Vladimir? Look, let's cook the, let's cook the blocks. Can you mix them? Mix, 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 mix. Are we gonna cook Elmo too? Want to cook Elmo? No, Elmo doesn't get cooked. That's silly. That's silly. Cousin Aiden's chewing in a silicone, uh, what is that called? Spatula. Pretty, pretty tasty. Scarlett apparently is looking at me because I'm the world's worst mom dog owner. She says that I never let her play with kitchen utensils or lick them. She doesn't understand why. But she's actually going to contact several people over this holiday, not holiday weekend, over this weekend to figure out the answer why. Someone's been having tummy issues and he smelled really bad in his auntie's car and it's because he blew out of his diaper. Luckily for him, mommy had their extra pair of clothes. So let's get him into some clothes, but it was quite a smelly and nasty ordeal. Sweet boy is asleep, and I actually painted my nails. Yay! Not very well, though. Oh no, this hand doesn't look too bad. It's the other hand that looks pretty bad. Um, I had a pretty good day today. My sister Chelsea was here at the house for a very long time. She left like an hour or two ago, so that was fun. I rarely ever get to hang out with her. Um, the boys were pretty good. Aiden was good. Vladimir, not so much. I'll tell you guys about it in a second. All right, so Vladimir's been a pretty tough nugget. He has, for the past few days, been having really bad, um, just like tummy problems, like just diarrhea in general. Not the past two, like, no, yeah, like the past two days. <sighs> but it's really taken a toll today, as you guys saw at Red Robin. Um, last night, though, fun fact, I don't even think this has anything to do with him just having issues the night, the day prior to this, but, um, he, um, not he, but, um, yesterday night after we had dinner with our friends, one, it was a late dinner, two, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but we had a pretty, uh, experience with it. This is the second time we've eaten there in the past, like, month or so or two, and, um, we used to love the food. I mean, you guys know, I used to, we used to eat there all the damn time because it was so good and so close to the house. But these past two times we've gone, we haven't been really liking the food. And then now that I think about it, like the time prior to this, I went with my sister Jenny to go have lunch when they first opened up, like for the day. And we had yellow curry and it wasn't as good as it normally was. So it's been like three times for me, actually, personally, that it hasn't been very good. And um, I don't know. I thought that the first time with the curry it was because you know different chef people have different hands of making things what have you i threw it us to that the second time was because of the very interesting just conversation that i had i thought that it had just ruined my appetite so that's why i didn't get to eat comfortably also vladimir was throwing a fit so i was like you know like everything was just thrown out of sync so my food didn't taste good but this time, I'm like, whoa. That and Raymond had actually gotten an egg in his uh, pad CU, which has never happened before. And it kind of was a bummer. But um, last night, even though we slept really early, we fell asleep really early, 
um, my stomach hurt so much and I kept on having like just really weird dreams that there was something wrong with me Klaus so I'd wake up and then like it was just my stomach was in so much pain and apparently Raymond had the exact same thing happen to him so we're pretty sure that something got messed up I don't know if maybe it was like egg or fish sauce or something but I don't think we're gonna be going back to the restaurant any that restaurant anytime soon you know it's just our last few experiences haven't been very great which sucks because I really enjoy I enjoyed them but you know whatever it's okay and then with Vladimir um I don't know if the incident today had to do something with yesterday's food another thing that I've noticed is um these past few days I feel like a week now since we've been sick he's been really just um his nose has been clogged and I'm pretty sure that it's been messing with his taste buds because he hasn't been eating um, normally. He hasn't been eating the normal foods that he likes or, you know, because he has some tried and true meals that he'll always eat. Like, oh, he's always down for fruit in the mornings. And there was a while where he wasn't. And um, just because he is sick, I have been trying to make sure that he at least keeps his energy up, you know, he has enough just food in his belly and it was already so and then I'm not nursing him to top it all off so I'm just like really concerned so then when he would start to reject like the fresh fruits and the veggies and stuff like that I just would basically throw anything and everything at him that he would eat hopefully and even then he doesn't eat a lot of those things like that one day he did eat, me and him did eat almost the entire box of cereal but I mean I helped him I'm a grown woman I could have ate that damn box of cereal by myself and it had been previously eaten so it's not like he literally had eaten an entire bag of cereal by himself so but what I'm trying to get at is that he's been eating a lot of processed foods which yeah obviously we do eat processed foods and faux meats and things like that you know so I'm not being like oh yeah we're just so healthy I mean you guys see what we eat um, but for the majority I like to have his foods whether they're raw or they're just more f on the fresh plant-based side that's what I like to try to do my goal with him was raw but obviously that was thrown out of the window well, not thrown out of the window but we decided just it wasn't working for us but um, as of right now I try to make his breakfast and his lunch as plant-based as possible obviously there'll be days where he has like things like pancakes or like toast or what have you but you know usually smoothies or fruits or green beans veggies what have you but since he's been sick oh Niklas is kicking up a storm but since he's been sick um it hasn't been going that way and he's been eating a lot of processed food so I think it's really just doing a toll on his belly and I think it's also has to do a lot with him just being sick in general not even necessarily the foods he's eating so trying to get him back onto a more plant-based diet my other son like I said however is like I don't know if he's kicking or he's jumping but it feels really strange it feels really weird but I hope you guys like today's vlog <coughs> I'm, I'm apparently still dying but no I'm good I'm I feel like I'm being I'm doing much better I feel like I am almost there I'm almost not sick so I'm glad Raymond and Vladimir on the other hand I don't know so hopefully soon but we will see so I will see you guys tomorrow I hope you guys liked today's vlog if you did like comment and subscribe to reality and like I said we'll see you tomorrow bye